walk you through Sporting for Schools, um, one of their programs called Playing for Life and Playing for Life Resources. Again, I've got them separated into these game categories. Um, looked at invasion games. We're going to look at those net and court games. Not as many net and court games, but I think a lot of people don't have that much repertoire for those games anyways. So, um, again, some great uh, great ideas, great activities. I downloaded this for you. Put it in a Google Drive. Uh, this is free for anyone to use. Um, again, I just got 11 different ideas. They could be used usually for the multiple different net wall kind of sports. Um, but, again, uh, got a little bit of two bounce here. We're working on bouncing, teamwork, catching, throwing, lots of different ways you can change the activities, how you can maybe even go three on three, um, how you could use different paddles, hands, rackets, um, all that different type of stuff, even different courts. So, uh, again, these could be modified for almost any net slash wall or um, court games. Uh, it's a blanket ball here, and you can look at the ages and the ages – um, sure are recommended, but really anyone can use these um, activities. Again, activities where a lot of people are active, a lot of people are involved, everyone's getting many more touches than the traditional types of games and activities that um, you know we might use as physical educators. Um, King and Queen of the Court is definitely a good one. Um, great way, again, a lot of these get a lot of gameplay in, um, and then that gameplay is is really then where that skill development comes in and the, um, and the focus on, on the strategies and the opportunity to start making those decisions while playing a game. In small-sided games, maybe one-on-one, 2v2, 3v3, um, where you know kids can, kids can try their best and once they're involved, they get to really enjoy it. Um, but again, just some amazing lead-up games, um, some great thoughts here those net and wall types of activities. Um, I've showcased some um, from Dr. Hopper here in um, in my presentation also. But again, just another great resource that I wanted to share with you. So take a look at all those and they're ready for you to put into your curriculum as soon as possible. All right, hope you enjoy.